Elaine Malcotti, who's never been one to sit around much, was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2008. She had surgery, chemo, and radiation. Right before I was diagnosed, I was doing the Iron Girl triathlon training for it. So two days before my surgery, I did the Iron Girl, and then I did it a year later. So I was able to work out pretty much all through chemo, which I think is what kept me going. Mercy Medical Center oncologist Dr. David Reisberg says while previous research has shown that exercise does help prevent cancer, this study says... If you're just sort of sitting at a desk like this all day long, that that uh, is probably worse for your cancer risk as opposed to you know, getting up and doing things, having little bursts of activity. So if you exercise a lot throughout the day, does that mean you can smoke? No. I'm glad you pointed that out, Donna, because certainly uh, this is not a trade-off. For Lane, who ran the Baltimore Marathon and just signed up for the Ironman Florida, activity is just a part of her life. Okay, so Lynn, all this exercise, do you think it made a difference in how you did? I do think that it made a difference mentally. They say exercise and low-fat diet can be almost equal to chemo, but I know mentally it gave me a goal every day. 